Hello, I am Zhao Chuan. Let's color this seal. Although coated in a monotonous, grayish color at first glance, the seal's body shows many color changes with a closer look. When coloring it, we should combine cold and warm colors. For its belly, we can apply a light, more flesh-colored gray. Its back is overall gray, somewhere between black and white. If you look closely at the seal coat, you will find a brown color transitioning between black and white, making it look brighter in this location. When coloring the ice, we should emphasize creating a sense of volume. When the sun hits, some of the ice will be in the shade, the seal will cast a shadow on the ice, and the seal's belly will also be in the shade. We will focus on the relationship between these layers of shadings. Now, let's get started. We first fill the lower part of its body with light flesh as the undertone. Outline the whole area to be flesh colored first. Slightly color the face and neck. Then, on the chest and the relatively round and bulging parts of the belly, outline some highlights first, and their inside parts should be uncolored. Now, we fill in the color around them. We can also draw a small highlight here on the underside of the neck to make the body look sleeker and shiny. Use light gray to draw highlights on other body parts, such as on the top of its head and arms. We can place a few more highlights on the arm and its back. When applying the color, be careful not to use the gray too much, and try to fill in along the upper side of its body. We can also leave some highlights in these folds on the neck, but there is no need to apply this color too much. Let's also leave some blank areas on the upper part of its back and around the arms. As we did not draw any highlights on the belly, we can leave a stripe uncolored near the edge. Now, we come to the other forelimb. Then, use gray to draw shadings on its belly, and show the shadings in these folds. Then, we color the rear of the body to the bottom of the other leg. Next, let's use orange to slightly embellish the transition between dark and light colors on its body, giving it an overall warmer feel.
Then, we use a cold gray to color the dark parts of the ice. First, outline the dark part, then apply the color inside. Don't fill the hole inside with the color, leave some white space appropriately. Then, the shadow underneath the seal's body. Next, let's use blue to slightly embellish the dark parts of the ice to make the color look colder. Also, don't fill this blue too airtight, but make the picture a little breathable. Then, let's use dark blue to draw the surrounding seawater. First, trace along the outline of the entire ice. Then, we place strokes around the shape of the ice, making the seawater feel like lapping against the ice. The water ripples go around the ice. When drawing water ripples, we also shouldn't place the strokes too tight. Apply the same blue for the seawater to add dark colors to the ice, especially in its dark area, to create a transparent feeling. Good. Like this, we've finished coloring this seal.